Hello my dear, this is Ujjal Kumar Sen. Yeah, simple question I would like to ask you in the beginning of the tutorial. Can you believe in gate previous year? I have seen couple of questions. Those has been asked from simple topic that is module. I mean if you know, yeah, if you wanted to learn or wanted to know what I am talking about in this tutorial, it's all about gear. So in gear, almost everybody those has studied about gear they know the formula for module what is the formula for module and can you believe in gate they have as question from module only I mean if you know the formula for module then you can solve the question yes so what is the formula for module m is equal to d by t what is m module d is sorry t is number of teeth and d is diameter of that maybe gear or pinion okay so this is about module and uh, you know the formula for module and right now in this tutorial only i am going to share with you those numerical problems as in gate previous year paper based on this simple topic only and one of the question as for I mean uh, both the question yeah, or not one I mean, two, two questions I am uh, going to share with you both of them ask for two marks could you believe okay so let's go for those questions that's why you can understand about it quite easily right so let's go for it so here is the question we got in this question what we have given we have given uh, the question is here and I hope you can also read the question what we have given 20 degree full depth involute profile of 90 teeth 19 teeth so what they said <coughs> 90 teeth pinion let's say this is a gear and this is a pinion okay so gear is having how many teeth 37 pinion is having 19 teeth gear in mesh both are in mesh this is meshing right if module is module is 5 so 5 for both I mean gear or finion for both module is 5 we have to find out center distance that means CD we have to find out center distance and you know what is center distance basically basically from here to here it is known as center distance so how we can find out center distance simple find out diameter of this and then divide by 2 will get radius of this gear and again the same way we can we need to find out diameter of pinion then divide by 2 if we will add both of them we will get what center distance got it now we understood what to do now what we have what thing what is required that is the formula for finding out uh, this uh, this numerical problem right so or uh, diameter of gear and diameter of pinion as I have already shared with you the uh, formula for finding out this that I, that is module is equal to dyt okay let's say we are implementing this for gear so module of gear is equal to diameter of gear by number of teeth of the gear so we know that number of teeth of the gear that's four therefore we can find out diameter of the gear so module multiple number of teeth so what is module 5 number of teeth is uh, gear 37 so we have to multiple 37 mul uh, 37 multiple 5 now let's find out 37 multiple 5 what 185 we got and the unit module is in mm so therefore unit would be this mm so we find out what diameter uh, sorry diameter of the gear is 185 now what we have to find out we have to find out uh, find out pinion diameter that means the same formula we we are going to implement for pinion okay so num module is this diameter of pinion number of teeth so diameter of pinion is equal to module multiple number of teeth in the pinion module is 5 number of teeth in the pinion is 19 19 fives are uh, 95 mm now how we can find out we need to just put these values here and here so what we got here diameter 185 by 2 plus 95 by 2 therefore what we got okay we can use calculator now okay so division 2 and 95 division 2 so what we got 140 so CD is equal to we got 140 mm 
now look at the options we have yeah look at the option that is option c is the right answer for this question right so option c is the right answer for this question so we have a look at this question and this question already asked in gate for two marks from module topic if you know what is module and if you understand gear and pinion then you can easily find out the answer of this question isn't it okay let's go let me share with you another question this question also asked in gate previous year but this question was in link question but i wanted to share with you only question can be solved by using that formula that is what is the formula for module that is m is equal to d by t d is diameter of that gear and t is number of teeth of the gear or pinion okay so this is about it now what i would like to share with you how to find out answer for this question that is mod, uh, center distance so a gear set has a pinion of this so let's say again we are having a gear set okay so let's say this uh, bigger one uh, let not let's say we have to consider this bigger one as gear and this one as pinion right so yeah center distance here let's say this one is one and this one is two so we have done it now we have to uh, write what we have given in this uh, problem so what we have given basically they said pinion teeth so the pinion is having 20 teeth and a gear is having 40 teeth okay now if we wanted to find out center distance as we have discussed earlier we need to implement formula for module if we have given number of teeth as well as mod uh, module okay so again with they said this 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 then transmit power is this 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 yeah module they have said module is equal to 5 mm like the same question here but the difference is here that here we have got 40 teeth and there we got 37 teeth here we got 20 teeth there we got 19 teeth okay now you can understand you can solve it quite easily you don't have any you don't need to face any problem right now go uh, let's go for it step by step so what we got basically if let's find out uh, diameter of the gear so we know that m is equal to dz by tz therefore dz is equal to m multiple tz so m is 5 tz is 40 so what we got 200 mm diameter of the gear now let's find out diameter of the pinions again we'll write the formula because most probably you are beginner tp by sorry dp by tp therefore diameter of the pinion m multiple t number of teeth of the pinion m is 5 number of teeth of the pinion is 20 therefore it's 100 mm got it now what we have to do we have to find out center distance that is cd center distance is equal to dz by 2 plus dp by 2 right now let's go for the next step that is dz what is dz here 200 200 divided 2 by what is dp here dp is 100 divided by 2 so what we got basically here 100 plus 50 is equal to what 150 mm therefore center distance of this gear and pinion set is 150 mm now look at the options we have that is option b is the right option for us now i hope you understand what type of question you can uh, you can get in gate examination even you can get question from module so the important thing is that how important is it to know all formulas because if you have practiced previous year paper and just look at the previous year paper you can easily download from their official website then you will understand then we will understand that in gate 80% about 80% questions are numerical based therefore remembering and understanding the formula is most important for getting good marks in the examination so my suggestion is for you is that understand the equation understand the formula then based on that formula solve questions 
i hope you are watching my total you are getting benefits from my total uh, yeah i don't want to take it uh, take much more time thanks for watching because the numerical has been completed okay and we have find out answer of that question of those questions uh, yeah thank you very much for watching see you soon in my next video total bye bye